this video, we're gonna be using Murphy and McNeil Gale Luke and the Blackland Dart Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Murphy and McNeil Gale Luke and this comes to you for $19.99 for 5.5 ounces or on our cost chart there, $3.63 per ounce. But keep in mind, Murphy and McNeil in the United States has free shipping, no minimum. So the value on this is quite good. The scent on this, I'll put the notes up on the screen for you. It is an aquatic. And it's based on Lucky Number Six, the uh, cologne. To me, it's lightly scented, and there's nothing that really comes to the surface. Like you, I think you get the aquatic notes and the neroli primarily. It's mildly scented. It's pleasant, but it's not. It doesn't have a lot of pop to it in terms of scent. Uh, but the scent I do get is uh, pleasant. The ingredients on it, it is a tallow based soap. I'll show you the ingredients right there on the screen. It is the Aeon base, which is nice and firm which I like, and it lathers very easy. The Murphy and McNeil soaps generally lather easy, good value, good quality, underrated soaps, in my opinion. And again, the the uh, consistency is quite firm to the touch. Um, I would say very firm, and I actually like that. So, we've got a good lather whipped up, but before we get to that, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the razor. Today, we're gonna be using the Blackland Dart, which is no longer made. I happened to see this one on eBay for like $104, and since it was no longer made, and it was the polished version, I went ahead and took a flower on it, and I, I explained all that in my unboxing yesterday. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. But anyway, the Blackland Dart, which sadly is no longer made, uh, paid, like I said, like $104 for it, and it's the polished version, and I'm using today a feather blade, so we look forward to giving this a go. Good-looking razor. A lot of people like it. But for some folks, it was just too aggressive. Um, Blackland lists it as six out of 10 in aggression. Many people think it's more um, aggressive than that. It is 303 stainless steel made here in the United States. All right, let's get into the shave today. I'm gonna to start out by misting the face. We have a little under 24 hours growth today. Although you can see some of the salt there. Um, shaving a bit early. And we have a nice lather here with our Murphy Neil Gale Luke already whipped up and today I'm using the Polar Shaving G4, which you can find on eBay. And again, I'll link the products that are available below. And I would advise you, if you're interested in the Blackland Dart and you happen to see one for a reasonable price, grab it because they're not made any longer. So it's now unobtainium. And I had one and it was just a matte finish. And at that time I was using the uh, stainless steel Blackbird a lot. And I thought, you know, I don't need both of these. But since now I've settled on the titanium Blackland Dart, I thought now there's sort of a place, or excuse me, my, I, I settled on the titanium Blackland Blackbird, excuse me. And so when I saw this one, I was like, you know, I'm uh, I'm using the, the titanium Blackbird. So now maybe there is a place for the stainless steel dart. So we'll see how it shaves today and how I feel about it. But if you see it for, uh, Decent price, you might want to pick it up. And usually um, they're somewhere around a hundred bucks, but I imagine that price will be going up because again, they're now unobtainium and everything you can't get becomes more expensive. And so I grabbed it while I could and uh, we'll see how it shaves today. All right, got a very nice lather there with the Murphy and McNeil. Murphy and McNeil, excuse me. I think Murphy and McNeil is really a an underrated artisan. They don't really get the attention they deserve, in my opinion. Really nice folks too, Bill at Murphy and McNeil. At least Bill, Bill's the only one. I don't know if there's actually two people or one, but Bill's the one I've dealt with. Okay, here we go. That feels very nice. The feather blade in here is on its second use, I believe. And that feels very, very nice. It doesn't feel overly aggressive, but there's definitely some blade feel to it. And again, for a hundred bucks, the polished version, I couldn't pass it up. It was just too good to, to pass on. And I'm expecting a nice, efficient shave from what I remember. And I believe it is delivering that. You definitely feel some blade. I think the uh, Blackbird might be rated by Blackland is a little more aggressive. Um, but I think this one, you know, feels 
It's a little more blade feely, I think, than the Blackbird. But both are very nice razors. And I've settled in on titanium for the Blackbird. I don't know what it is. I just love titanium razors. The, the weight for me just really does it. You know, it just feels so nice. It's that mid-level between stainless and aluminum. And I find that to be really, really nice feel. But these stainless razors are terrific too. And you can get them almost always less expensively than the titanium offerings. Do you need the strength perhaps that titanium has? No, um, probably not. But there's something nice about the weight of titanium. It's enough to feel um, significant without feeling too heavy. And I really like that. All right, this is nice too though. Getting some nice efficient shaving here with the dart. And I know a lot of people like the dart. Uh, Jim will shave like the dart, I'm pretty sure. And maybe, uh, maybe John shaves 101, I'm not sure. I think he might've mentioned it at one time or another. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I apologize, John. But it is a nice shaver, and I'm lucky to have uh, snagged this polished version for the price I got it for. So, all right, let's move on into pass two there. The first pass was phenomenal. The soap, very slick. Mildly scented, though. There's not a lot of pop to this scent. Um, so I wish it, it was a little more fragrant. But what there is, is, is quite pleasant. But nothing really pops in this scent for me. So scent wise for me, this is just um, one that's really pleasant. I would call it a relaxing sort of scent, but it doesn't have much pop to it. But the quality is always good. And like I said before, it's quite firm. It lathers easily. You know, there's plenty of lather in here. And it's just a great soap. Uh, Murphy and McNeil generally make great soaps. And they do get some attention, but they're sort of a uh, They'll get attention usually when they have a sort of a special drop from time to time. But a lot of their um, offerings you don't see as much as maybe some of the other brands. Uh, but I tell you what, it shouldn't be because of quality because this is a very good soap. It's easy to work with. It's not soft and goopy. Um, it's good value. They have great service at Murphy and McNeil. I mean, for me, it's a brand that's just, it's a, it's a very good brand all the way around. They tend to get things out fast. Their customer service is very good. Their products are very good. And so I always enjoy using Murphy and McNeil. It's definitely one of my favorite brands to use. All right, we're gonna do two passes today and a little bit of touching up perhaps because today we're going to be in the office and so we'll get a nice shave in and uh, the days when I'm in the office I don't have quite as much time and I want to get a nice shave in before that and just enjoy it in fact I was reading a comment just before making this video from Doug from uh, I think his channel is called Dougie's Shaving I'll uh, link it below Anyway, he was saying, we would love to see you shave, you know, some significant growth, like multiples days growth. And uh, I replied, hey, I'm an everyday shaver, <laughs> you know. I actually love shave. I don't just shave to make videos. I shave because I like shaving. And even if I wasn't making videos, I would shave every single day because I have all these wonderful products and I want to use them. You know, I don't acquire these things to let them set and collect dust. When they do collect dust, it's only because, you know, I'm using other things, but I shave every day with purpose because uh, number one purpose being I enjoy it. And also, you know, I, I have a professional job and, you know, it's nice to be clean, clean shaven. I don't know if I had a weeper down there or what. I saw a speck of something like down there. That would be a rare weeper with a DE. But... Could have happened, I guess, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I think it was. That's extremely rare for me. So we've drawn blood today with the dart. <laughs> Go figure. But anyway, like I said, I'm an everyday 
shaver, I rarely miss a day. And the only time I do miss days is like if I'm traveling or something like that, maybe camping. And usually even when I'm camping, I try to, to do some shaves as well because I don't really like it when the growth gets beyond a day. It starts to get itchy, especially on the neck. And I just don't like it. Um, I shave primarily because it's enjoyable and I really, I really love doing it. And so fun is the number one reason why I shave. The videos are secondary to that. Like I said before, if I wasn't making videos, I'd still shave every day because I just enjoy it. You know, you have all this stuff, you may as well use it. Um, that's just my perspective. I know there are some shaving enthusiasts who, who, who don't shave daily or even some only shave a couple times a week. That's entirely okay. Do whatever is enjoyable. But for me, when I enjoy something as much as I do shaving, I wanna do it as often as I can. And generally for me, that's about 11 times a week because I shave my head every other day. So I'm doing about 11 shaves per week and I enjoy every single one immensely. And that's why I do it. So, um, assuming that there's uh, nothing wrong or I'm not traveling, you won't see me more with, than more with, than with more, <laughs> excuse me, tongue twisted there, than uh, 24 hours growth typically, unless there's a problem or I happen to be traveling or there's just some reason why I'm sick, you know. There would have to be something going on <laughs> there. All right, that was an excellent shave minus the weeper. Rare weeper, the dart has drawn <laughs> blood today. All right, let me rinse and we'll come back into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our alum. The only space that we had a little bit of burning was right where I had that weeper, so I got a little too close in that area, but otherwise it was a very nice shave. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Magic because it's made by witches. I had a very nice shave today with the Murphy and McNeil Gale Luke. Again, this scent, there's not a lot of pop to it. It's just a pleasant, relaxing scent. Lightly scented, um, clean, fresh sort of aquatic vibe. Very, very nice, but again, not much pop. So if you're looking for a soap with a lot of pop, this one probably is not it, or at least to my nose. But great quality, great service. You just can't beat Murphy and McNeil on that basis. I have to say, we used the Blackland Dart razor, which was very nice. This is quite an efficient razor. It did a great job. I had an error right there where I got too close, but otherwise nice shave. I'm glad to have picked this one up. If you see one and if it's reasonable, you might want to snag it because they're not being made anymore. We used our Polar G4 brush, which was very nice, our Captain's Choice bowl, and we're gonna finish it out with Murphy and McNeil Glen to Glen. And I love these bottles that Murphy and McNeil uses. Very, very nice in my opinion. And this is a scent that does have a little more pop to it. So we're gonna apply that liberally. And then we're gonna be off to the races and having a fantastic day. And I hope wherever you are, you have fantastic shaves and you have a fantastic day as well. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.